congrats, you received the biggest honor in Great Britain. So yeah. tell us what that honor was. So I received an MBE by MBE. the Queen. So I'm the member of the British um, Embassy. So you just walked up the hallway and said, oh my God, all these people are big stars. It's very few who's received an honor from the Queen. I know, I know. I'm, well, I did, I did actually get quite emotional about it because I thought, you know, I was going to get an MBE for being part of Spice Girls and pop music and stuff like that. Um, but I got an MBE because I've been wor working really hard with my charity mm -hmm. called Women's Aid that brings awareness to domestic violence. Wow. So I've changed laws and I help like, women that are fleeing that kind of relationship because I went through a 10-year terrible, abusive marriage. And so my thing was, well, I'm going to speak up about it. And domestic abuse is an epidemic. Yes. So I want to keep women and children sa as safe as possible and, and make sure there's guidelines in place mm -hmm. so that when they do finally reach out for help, they've got somewhere safe to go. So that's that is a word word for. <laughs> That is. And your mother went with you, and I, I know she was yes. proud of you. Well, the funny thing is, because when you get an MBE, you don't, you, you don't know ahead of time that you're going to get it. Okay. So it's a chauffeur-driven black car with a man all suited and booted that hands you an envelope. So I wasn't in at the time, so the envelope got handed to my mother. So it's very formal and very proper. And my mother called me, she went, what have you done? <laughs> I've got a letter that's very official from Buckingham Palace. What have you been up to? <laughs> and then I opened it oh and I goodness. was so surprised and so happy. So I brought my mum along with me. To that's get, to such get, to a get beautiful moment. Yeah. Oh my goodness. And my mother was so nervous. She was nervous? She was so nervous. She kept on going to the bathroom, checking her hair, <laughs> doing a lipstick. I'm like, mother, come on. <laughs> so my nerves just disappeared because I was, I, I was literally looking after her the whole entire time. Wow. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> well, it's understandable. <laughs> that is a major achievement. Okay, and your kids, how do they feel? Do they, do they think their mom is cool? Uh... No, my no. son don't think I'm cool either. I, I mean, it. I've got a 12-year-old, a 16-year-old, and a 24-year-old. Oh. I mean, my 24-year-old thinks I'm kind of cool now because all my clothes have come back round in fashion. <laughs> yes, I mean, look at your mama. She looks fierce. So my, my oldest daughter, she goes into my wardrobes, and I, I, I see her stealing things, but I'm like, oh, well, <laughs> it's fine, it's fine. So do they know their mom is a Spice Girl? I don't think they care that I'm a Spice Girl. <laughs> I mean, I was playing my music the other day before we went to go and see Hamilton. <laughs> and I was like, hey kids, who, who do you think this is? And they were like, I don't know, is it Lady Gaga? I was like, no. <laughs> um, well, I don't, what kind of music is this moment? I was like, it's Spice Girls music that we wrote. They were like, really? Anyway. <laughs> Like, as soon as they know oh. his mom, it's just uncool. <laughs> but I think with their friends, I'm kind of cool. Yeah. Ish. Like, they all better know you. You know who your mama is. <laughs> better get into it. I mean, look at you, first of all. And then you... Oh, but look at you. Thank you. Look oh, my you. God. <laughs> like, you're, you're, the 90s fashion is like, it's just... I it's still it. fierce to this day. I love it. But I do think that I have always been stuck in the 90s. Okay. I don't think I've ever left it. No. Like, I like 90s <laughs> R&B, 90s pop music, 90s clothes, 90s everything. It was a great era, though. It was. You know what Until I mean? you came along oh, and then goodness. you knocked it into a different like, level. You, yeah. Up there. Yes, you did. But see, Melby, you got to... <laughs> Thank you. I mean, but you were inspiration. You know, I've always been a huge fan. And then, you know, I have that challenge as a mom, too. I be trying to be cool to my kid. But it seemed like that mommy thing just takes it all away, where oh, yeah. no matter what you didn't did, who you are. Exactly. The exactly. kids are like, OK, don't embarrass me. That's what I get. <laughs> yes. That's what I get. But yeah. this is amazing. You, you, the Spice Girls, your 30th anniversary. God, I can't. That's insane. See, when you say it like that, then I think I started when I was I was a Spice Girl at the age of 17. I'm old. <laughs> <laughs> I'm feeling old right now, but wow. it is amazing that we've managed to kind of still stay friends. Yes. You know, it's been 30 years, and I think what, what you go through as a group, you did it by yourself, so it's uh -huh. kind of different, but as uh -huh. a group, like, you are ju just welded together for life. Yeah, you're like family, because right? Because you've been through such a crazy experience. And made you know so I mean? much history together. So y'all gonna, like, have a, a reunion coming up? Oh, you see, I'm Are the you gonna announce ask. it? And... See, when you ask me that, 
We want a reunion. I am such, I'm such a blabbermouth. Are they get, worried about you telling it? I get told off all the time for announcing stuff that I'm not meant to announce. <laughs> uh. But I mean, what I can say is we're definitely working on something together, Ooh. all five of us. Oh my God. And by me just saying that, I'm probably going to get into trouble again. Uh, you didn't say too much. <laughs> but we want to know, right? <laughs> oh my goodness. That got me super excited. <laughs> Okay, okay, see, you got some good stuff, mama. It's cool. You got to interview one of my favorites, Prince. Oh, yeah. Please tell yeah. me about that. Well, I thought somebody was like pranking me because he actually called my phone People and said, Hey, I want you to interview me. And I was like, oh, Yeah, right, who is this? No caller ID. Yeah. And on the caller ID. Yeah. <laughs> so I catch that. I was like, Is this for real? Because it was just when he came out from wearing slaves, so he uh -huh. was actually willing to talk because yeah. he'd already gone through all the stuff with his record company. And I was like, well, this is going to be the first time you, we've everybody seen you talk, and why do you want me to interview you? What did he say? And he was like, well, I've seen you in your interviews, and I'm like, oh, dear Lord. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> and he goes, you're going to ask questions that people will genuinely want to know about. And I was like, okay then, still not believing it was actually real. And I was three months pregnant with Phoenix, who's uh -huh. now 24. And so I thought, you know, I'm gonna dress up like what I think that Prince was gonna like. So I had a long ponytail. Yes. You gotta be I dressed up like, Prince. Uh -huh. um, uh, what do you call those things? Like a choker? Uh, no, a turtleneck dress to the turtleneck. floor. Okay. Yes, and I could barely walk in it. <laughs> and I was like, yes. sat down, I was like, let me just take my shoes off. And we just hit it. Off. He oh was goodness. such a nice guy. Wasn't he? Oh, rest his soul, yes. I know, I miss him so much. Yeah, Prince will call you, honey. <laughs> so you know what? And you gotta make sure you got on the right heels. That's exactly. for sure. Exactly. But I got to spend like four days with him. I got to four hang days? out in his like room where he plays all his music and jams, and I got to eat. I think back then, vegan food had just come out. So yeah. he had all this vegan food. And I was like, it's not chicken. What's chicken? <laughs> like, what is this? <laughs> yeah. But I had I had fun with him. I mean, he's he's a legend. Yes. The music that yes. he's done is just incredible. I could listen to Prince stories all day. He's like my yes. top two favorites. So thank you for sharing that with me. Oh, thank oh you. my goodness. You're welcome. <laughs> and then, what, what isn't funny is I have to sit next to the boss, Simon. I was gonna ask because that's another <sighs> thing we have in common. You know, I'm used to Simon, and you are close. I with love him. him, but he's so annoying. <laughs> it's like that annoying brother that just keeps on talking and talking. It's like, oh my God, Simon, shut up! I know you're my boss, <laughs> but shut up. He's like a child. Do you remember the first time you met him? Oh my God, yeah. What was that like? Well, it's, it was kind of weird. The first time we met him as Spice Girls, when I first met him, we were singing to him in in a car park. <laughs> <laughs> really? We were singing a cappella because we'd heard that he's like the, you know, the he was best like that manager, guy. whatever, to have. So we bombarded him before he got in his car, sung a cappella to him, and he went, girl bands are never going to work. And then to this day, I still say to him, oh, girls, are never, girls bands are never going to work. Ah. Like, oh. <laughs> it worked, Simon! Uh, <laughs> oh my goodness, I love that. See, I'm like, well, what was your history with Simon? Ooh, I've known him a long time. A long time. A long, long time, yeah. And I'm actually happy now that he's found his lady, yes. he's had a kid, he's mellowed a little bit, and then I, I still get to throw water on him when he really I love me. that, that's the part I love. But I love Simon too, he's awesome. He is he so is. awesome. If you like this video, smash that like button and subscribe to the Jennifer Hudson Show YouTube channel. Check your local listings or visit JenniferHudsonShow.com to see when you can watch full episodes in your area. And don't forget to sign up for the newsletter.